My name is Jamie Clapham and I'm a physical therapist. I work for Monument Health and I have been a physical therapist for 13 years. And physical therapists work with people of all ages from newborns to our oldest patients and we help regain function, regain the things you need to do every day, walking, running, climbing stairs, taking care of your pets. And we work in the hospital and in outpatient clinics in order to really help people get back to their lives. I initially, I've always been a science person. Um, and so I loved biology and anatomy and I also was always into sports. So I did, um, of course, had injuries along the way and did rehab and then, so I got kind of interested then. And then when I got to college, I got the opportunity to work with the sports teams and travel with them and do rehab with athletes. And that really got me even more interested in the field. So I actually have a master's degree, but I was the last of the master's degree. So now it's actually a doctoral level degree. So you go to college for four years and in undergrad, you can actually major in anything you like. You just have to take certain classes like chemistry and biology and anatomy. And then you go to graduate school for another three years. In graduate school, the first two years are all classwork. And then the last year is all hands-on internships. I think, uh, I think one of the best things that I did learn along the way was making sure you also learn what you don't like. I think sometimes we think we know what a career is and so I would highly recommend to really observe and learn and interview even people in a career that you think you like. I initially thought I wanted to be a dentist and it turns out I did not want to at all and I'm really glad I learned what I didn't like to actually help point me to what I did like. So there's really one of the things I love about physical therapy is there is a broad, broad spectrum. Um, you can do anything from pediatrics to working in the school system to working in an outpatient clinic. I actually have a really good colleague who she actually travels with Cirque du Soleil and on Broadway because dancers and performers also need a therapist. So for the first seven years of her career, she traveled around the world uh, with dancers and performers doing physical therapy, which a lot of people wouldn't even picture a physical therapist doing. I personally work in inpatient, so I work with patients who need to be in the hospital for sometimes two months, taking therapy every day to learn how to walk again, how to talk again, how to be able to feed themselves, how to be able to dress themselves. Um, so really intense therapy and really getting to know your patients, seeing them one, two, three hours a day. On the other hand, you can work in the hospital in the critical area where people are to the point they may still be on a ventilator, but you're actually the first person to help them sit up and the first person to help them stand up. So there's a really, really broad variety. Is that some people like working with athletes, some people don't. Some people like working with kids, some people don't. And of course, yes, you could eventually open your own clinic, be a director of a clinic, uh, do traveling physical therapy. There's just a really, really broad spectrum of things you can do within the field. Uh, I've learned flexibility. <laughs> Um, even it's it's healthcare and people are changing every minute and so you may have a schedule at the beginning of the day and by nine o'clock your schedule is completely gone out the window and you have to figure it out and think on the fly of how you're going to adapt. So being flexible is really important um, and really learning to connect with people and not just your patients but physical therapists are really important part of a team. So we work with social workers, case managers, nurses, doctors, the lab, x-ray and learning how to communicate with those people and to be all be successful for the patient as a team and in any given day that can be 10 12 14 different people that you're working with and communicating with and being able to communicate with people in different ways is really important I think probably it is the kind of the long after when people come back to visit or you see somebody in the grocery store or you see somebody at the park and it's somebody who says, I remember when you helped me stand up for the first time and you see them walking. Um, or I sometimes get Christmas cards from people say, look what, look what I did. And I can remember the first day they walked or the first day they stood. And it kind of reminds you of those long frustrating days or days when you feel like you're not getting anywhere and you really see that these people are gaining a part of themselves back. And it reminds you of why you do what you do. 
I believe I would. I, I ask myself sometimes if I could do another career, what would I do? And it doesn't come as a quick answer. So I think that tells me that I'm doing the right thing. I do think as you progress in your career, like five years from now, uh, I might be in a different area of physical therapy. I might be looking to manage. I might be in pediatrics because I was getting burned out with rehab. But again, that's the, the beauty of the field is that you can change throughout your career. So I think I, think I would still be here. Um, I might be set in a different area of physical therapy, but I think I would still be in the therapy world. Any, to me, any healthcare exposure is ideal. Uh, people, you know, some people aren't great with some of the things in the hospital that are perhaps a little messier, and that is part of what we do. So one of the thing, like being a certified nurse's assistant or a CNA, you can actually begin doing that at 16 or 17, and I think that's really good. It's a very high need job, so that's one that would give you a lot of exposure to a lot of different kinds of patients in healthcare, and also physical therapy aids we have in the hospital. Some areas they call them techs, but they help us with cleaning our equipment, um, help us with organizing things, and answering phones and, and helping us kind of run errands and also even helping us physically with the patients. And I was a physical therapy aide for two years before I went to physical therapy school. And both of those are really good options, but really any of the, you know, even a transporter in the hospital, just getting the opportunity to see the healthcare environment and some of the variety, the speed of that, any of those would be great for somebody looking to learn more about physical therapy. So physical therapy is pretty independent in the sense that if you think of it like a race, you have the start and you have the finish. Where you're finishing is kind of predetermined, but how you get there is as a therapist, your decision. So if you decide that a patient needs to work on lifting things from the floor and how you're gonna help them do that, it might be you put cones on the floor, it might be you play twister, it might be that you tell them, oh, you have, you're gonna to have to clean up after your dog, let's practice that. Or it might be we need to do 10 squats and every therapist is unique. So all of us have different ways we do things, which is kind of fun. And even working with other therapists, we learn and see therapists do other things and, and you pick up along your career, you pick up different things and skills. And so, yeah, you can sometimes in the middle of a session, I'll say, you know what? I changed my mind, we're doing something different. And so you do have that freedom and flexibility within, within the hour, within your day and within your treatment plans. I for sure, I said, would definitely observe, go and see different areas of physical therapy. Sometimes people, have experience with therapy themselves, they break an arm, sprain an ankle, and that's what they believe that all physical therapy is like, but it's really not. Um, so I suggest to observe in the hospital, observe pediatrics, observe athletic training, observe different areas of physical therapy, and then also just to really see, see what you really think about sciences. Do you like biology, anatomy? If you don't, it's probably not the way to go but exploring those classes. And truly, I said again, interviewing most people in the healthcare field in general, we want people to be happy in what they do. We want our team members who eventually will be some of you watching this. And so talking to them, asking them real straightforward questions about what they like, what they don't like, and advice that they would give you.